22's push to curb childhood hunger continues today in Lackawanna County. Our stop, Wise Market near Clark Summit. And thanks to you, we've collected more than two tons of food so far since last month. Our Sydney Costas is here with how our station's Children First initiative helping those in need and how you can pitch in. Good morning, Sydney. Hey, good morning, Tom. Yes, we're having a beautiful morning out here so far in South Abington Township. We've been out here collecting donations since 7 a.m. And like you said, nearly two tons of food of non-perishable food has already been collected over the last four weeks. We are trying to top it. We're trying to get one ton of collections just in one day. And speaking of the amazing community support we have gotten, I'm joined by the amazing Paula Giacomo <laughs> right now. Paula, you've been out here this morning. How has it been so far? We've gotten a lot of donations so far, but we definitely need more. There are so many kids in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania who rely on school lunches, and it's hard to believe that there are parents who can't provide the meal that they rely on at lunchtime during school. Now, I have two kids, one is a teenager, and I know they are always hungry. And I can't imagine as a mom not having the resources to feed them when they're hungry. And what's great is all you have to do is while you're food shopping, just drop off a food item. Mm -hmm. And not only that, there are organizations in our area like the Garden of Cedar, who offers hot food lunches, like on a day like today between 11 and one, people who need that lunch can go to Cedar Avenue and get a hot meal. There's also organizations like the Carbondale Public Library who distributes food once a month for people in need. So fortunately, um, there are organizations uh, that can get or can give out food. But if you are in the area today, uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, if you're like me, you're food shopping three times a week at least anyway here at Weiss. Uh, so just drop off a food item and it all is part of this hunger campaign that WBRE and WYRU are engaged in for six weeks. And I'm just happy to be a part of it. Of course. And your parenting playbook, you're out there speaking to parents throughout the community every single week. So what are you hearing from these parents of ask, needing that extra support? Well, a lot of parents don't like to admit they need help. I mean, it's kind of a sad situation. So instead of um, having them talk about their burden, which is hard enough on them, let's just be proactive and help them and just give them what they need without them having to ask because it's just a tough situation. I mean, with rising food costs and, and fuel costs and your costs of your utilities rising and cable costs rising, it's just hard to make ends meet. Yeah. So let's just help people in need. And, and I'm happy to be part of this and to be able um, to help bring food to people who need it. Of course, Neighbors Helping Neighbors. Thanks, Paula, so much for being out here with us this morning, of course. And coming up at 1130, we'll have more from the Weinberg Northeast Regional Food Bank and how this is being distributed across with their all their organizations that they work with. Tom. OK, thank you, Sydney. And don't forget, Paula will be there at the Wise in South Abington Township near Clark Summit until 1230 this afternoon.